It's an important day of testimony today in the appeal of Amanda Knox, the Seattle College student convicted of murder in Italy. The judges are hearing from a man who was also convicted of killing Knox's roommate in 2007. CBS News correspondent Alan Pizzi has this report. Good luck, Amanda. For the first time since her appeal process began, Amanda Knox didn't start out as the main focus of attention in court today. This is Knox's best, but not last chance to win freedom on appeal. She asked for permission to address the court, but she and her former boyfriend, Raffaele Selecito, first had to hear testimony from Rudy Guede, an Ivorian who was serving a 16-year sentence for his part in the murder of British student Meredith Kircher. Called as a prosecution witness, Guede denied defense claims that he told a fellow prisoner that Knox and Selecito were not present when Kircher was assaulted and had her throat slashed in the house she shared with Knox in 2007. Guede admitted being at the scene on the night of the murder, and DNA evidence proved he and Kircher had some kind of sexual encounter, but Guede has consistently denied any role in the crime. This is a crucial point in the appeals trial, which began in November, but Knox's mother says everyone involved has become realistic about how far they still have to go. None of us are overconfident because of what happened with the first trial. I mean, she was, you know, found guilty even though she's innocent. So I think she's nervous. She's nervous about getting things going. But I think um, we're all more hopeful now than we have been in a while. When she got her chance to speak, Knox said the courtroom was the only time she, Selecito and Guede had ever been in what she called the same space. He knows we had nothing to do with it, Knox said, and added, I do not know what happened that night. The appeal process will resume in July. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, Rome.